Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would do a Owl Crate unboxing with you. This is probably going to be a very short video um, and it'll probably be classified as a big fail. But you know what? We're gonna go for it anyway. Everybody, you ready for this? Am I ready for this? I don't know. I don't usually know anything that has to do with anything in these in these boxes. <laughs> I can't open it. What have I done wrong? Besides lots of things. What have I done wrong? Like why can't I open this thing? Open boxes? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Dramatic effect. Here we go. Ah. Alright. <laughs> Okay, we're off to a good start. Here is the little card it came with. And here, maybe I need to focus. Okay, so I'm not gonna read the spoiler card. I don't know who that is, so we're off to a really good start. Um, okay, <clears throat> what is this? Are these cards? It says, Rattle the Stars. Joe Painter, okay, it's probably characters. Oh gosh, how embarrassing. Inspired by the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. So, cool. Um, I haven't read that. Yes, I realize that I am probably, um, well, I know I'm very behind in my reading, which is why I've dedicated 2020 to the year of reading for me and getting back into my love of reading because I know that I have missed out on so many books and I've missed out on the fandom of this series as of many others and that bums me out because your girl loves to fandom. I love fangirling. I'm a champ at it. In sync, I'm talking to you. Um, it's a good thing I don't know Korean because I'd probably be all over BTS also. I'm just saying, like, that's how I roll, folks. So I think these might be playing cards. We'll see if I can even open the box. Like, clearly I'm not that talented. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I can't get that off. <laughs> These are cool looking. Look at those. Um, those are really cool. And then, why did it focus back on me? Come on. And then look at the upside down much. Look at those. Those are neat. And then they're like shiny. Okay, my camera sucks. Anyway, those are cool. I definitely, like, I could rock these for sure. These are cool looking. Um, so, they have, like, this really cool reflective metallic thing going on right there. That's, that's awesome. Um, okay, I'm into those. I'm super into those. I think I'll be more into those after I read the book. Next thing in here is a pen. It says, still, I will fight. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what it's about. It says a power within. Let's see, can I see what it is without spoiling everything else? About that later. Keychain! Break Bills Alumni. Man, this is something else I don't know. Inspired by the magi magicians. Break Bills. So, okay. I don't know anything about the magicians, so. It's cool looking though. I mean, I don't understand the reference, but the keychain looks cool. Next. Okay, this is interesting. This is the thing that kept rattling. Um, it's a little bento box set. Okay. All right. So you open up. Ah! 
open that up and <laughs> okay I'm digging it because this is how I eat most of my meals with chopsticks and a spoon so um, okay all right I can dig that a little bit put that back let's open this and see what is this oh my gosh I'm breaking things <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's just a little bento. So that's cool. I'm not uh, into plastic, so I don't know if I'll use it. I might. Maybe I have glass ones like this, but it doesn't have the cool little like container thing to hold your um, utensils. I love that it came with a set of chopsticks, stainless steel chopsticks and a spoon, so that's cool. Um, I'm sure this is in reference to something. I don't know what it is, so we'll find out. Read the spoiler card. Um, but I don't want to read too much because I don't want to see nothing's like, okay, Bento Mistborn. I might have to ask my husband because he's read Mistborn and I haven't yet. So I'll see if he picks up that reference. I don't know. Okay, this is kind of cute. Okay, this is kind of cute so we'll see what's inside if I can uh, you know y'all I'm really good at opening things like what is happening okay I think this is like a like an optic cloth where you can clean your glasses maybe I don't know who that is and it says that's neat that's cute Again, I don't know what that's in reference to. Are you guys digging this this unboxing? Is this really fun for you? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure Alcrate is great. I just I don't I don't know any of the references because I haven't um, been reading um, for a while. A minute or so so okay well that's gonna go back in its pouch not folded the way that it was before because ain't nobody got time for that next okay um, it's a bookmark thread sisters BFF bookmarks That's kind of neat. I'll always follow you and you'll always follow me. The Thread Sisters to the End. Inspired by the Witchland series by Susan Denard. I've never heard of it. They're like little rulers and they've got some symbols on it. And you know, if I knew what any of this meant, it would be, pe it would be pretty cool. So that's neat. Um, I'm not mad at those. Those are kind of cool. Next. I don't know what this is. I mean, no. <laughs> I know what this is. I know what this book is. I know Cassandra Clare. Um, Fall in Love, March 3rd. Pre-order your copy today. So, oh, is this like a, oh, it's an exclusive sneak peek of Chain of Gold. That's pretty cool. Um, I recently watched um, a review. Well, not a review. It was a it was a vlog. It's a reading vlog from Whitney. Whitney, no Whitney Novels. I love you, girl. Um, no, I don't know her. I wish I did. And she was definitely saying, like, it can't be a standalone book. So that's unfortunate. So I'm not going to read this. Um, but if I knew somebody who did, I would happily give it to them. Oh, <laughs> my foot's asleep. We are at the book. And it is... All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. You know what's funny about this? Hold on. It was also my book of the month choice. So now I have two copies. You want to know when that happened last time? Quite of your deception. Okay, this is a bit overkill, people. I am not somebody who wants to have multiple copies of a book unless I'm in love with it. Like Harry Potter. I would own all the editions of Harry Potter. 
happily. I would be so thrilled to do that. But I've not read this yet and now I have two copies. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that scenario. Um, but let's see if I remember what this is about. Princess, pirate, stowaway, mermaid. The crew makes the queen. Ooh. Okay. So the little synopsis here says, she will reign as princess of the island kingdom. Oh, I hate this. Visidia. Amora Montara has spent her entire life training to be High Animancer, the Master of Souls. The rest of the realm can choose their magic, but for Amora, it's never been a choice. To secure her place as heir to the throne, she must prove her mas mastery of the monarchy's dangerous soul magic. When her demonstration goes awry, Amora is forced to flee. She strikes a deal with Bastian, a mysterious pirate. He'll help he'll help her prove she's fit to rule if she'll help him reclaim his stolen magic. But sailing the kingdom holds more wonder and more peril than Amora anticipated. The destructive new magic is on the rise, and if Amora is to conquer it, she'll need to face legendary monsters, cross paths with vengeful mermaids, and deal with a stowaway she never expected. Or risk the fate of Visidia and lose the crown forever. That is the synopsis of this book. Um, so I I did choose it as my book of the month um, because, oh, she's pretty cute. Oh, that's pretty cute. Um, I did choose it as my book of the month because it sounded interesting out of all the options. Here's the difference in the jacket covers of the two. Here's the book of the month and then here's the owl crate. And the book of the month is like so much bigger. Can you see that? It's so much bigger. It's taller, longer, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so there you go. And here's a little book that it comes with that has like, it always has a puzzle and a little blurb about the author, sometimes about the artist. Um, so, yeah. Okay, and the theme of the March box is music of the night now okay i could be like going on a limb here but if it does not have any phantom of the opera references in it i'm gonna be so disappointed i mean music of the night that is straight up phantom of the opera and probably some other books too but let's be real i probably haven't read them so there you go um so that should be cool I'm kind of looking forward to that one. Hopefully I won't get a duplicate book. So there was my Owl Crate unboxing. I hope that you had fun watching that um, disaster. <laughs> um, these are just kind of fun to get. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with Owl Crate. It's just, um, it was just, it was part of Christmas present deal. So um, yeah. It's fun. It's cool. I really like this deck of cards though, so I'm into that. But I think these unboxings are so funny because everybody is always so like excited. Like, oh, this is cool and oh, that's so neat and oh my gosh. And I'm just sitting here like, I don't know what that's from and I don't know what this is and I don't know how I'd use that and okay then. But um, so there you go. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.